In this video, we'll talk about breaking bad habits and breaking down the habit loop. We have a high chance of sticking to a behavior over time when we keep doing it regularly. Because routine is a very powerful tool that can help us to cultivate new habits or aid us in reinforcing old habits. Change is not easy at all. Imagine that you had to stop doing what you have always been doing. It will be tough. But still, you'll have to do what's best for you if the change is necessary to help you move forward and live a better life. Breaking habits won't probably be as easy as you may have thought it would be if you have some habits you'd like to change. Because it's vital that you maintain positive habits such as reading every night, finishing off your lunch break with a short walk, or taking a glass of water when you wake up. You'll have to start working on letting go of your bad and negative habits. The three parts of the loop. Okay, the habit loop has been briefly talked about in the previous chapter. And, of course, you already have an idea of what the loop means. For you to break a habit, you must understand how the loop works. There are three main components of the habit loop. Number one, the cue. This is what kicks off the habitual behavior. It is the trigger, and it can also be called the reminder. Cues can take different forms. They vary widely, and they incite habits or routine behaviors. These are some of the categories they usually fall into. Your last action, people around you, current emotional state, time, location. For example, let's say on a beautiful morning, you're walking past a restaurant and there's this nice smell coming out close to the entrance. Because of that smell, you just find it tempting to get in and get something, even though you might have had something already in the morning. In this case, the cue may be your location, the aroma of the food and walking by, or your last action. If you hadn't passed that side or that area, there's a possibility that you wouldn't have smelled that food aroma. Do you get it? When people jiggle their legs or bite their nails, they're often cued to engage in those self-soothing behaviors when they're in a nervous state of mind. And more so, people are cued to wash their hands after they've taken the action of flushing the toilet. Your dog knows it's time for you to take him for his evening walk and hurry up when he does his polite but insistent whining by the back door. The routine. Your repeated behavior habit is the routine. It may be getting up from your desk once it's 5 p.m. or anything that you're totally aware of. There are some habits that might happen less consciously. For instance, while you're thinking about a difficult problem, you may be chewing on the tip of your pen or tapping your hands unconsciously. The first time you carried out an action, you may consciously choose to pursue that action, but habitual behaviors usually happen automatically. Let me just scroll through social media and unwind. I'm bored. Let me just have a cup of coffee. I need to relax. I'm tired. Before you know it, you're already used to taking a cup of coffee whenever you're tired and automatically scrolling through social media whenever you're bored. The reward. Rewards keep habits firmly in place and they do help to reinforce habits. The reward has to do with what the particular behavior does for you when it comes to habits. You earn the reward of a better relationship when you cultivate the habit of frequently communicating with your partner with sweet words. You're rewarded with a clean, fresh mouth when you brush your teeth after breakfast. Obviously, some rewards can benefit you. However, the habits you don't have the intention of keeping can be reinforced by less beneficial rewards. Even if you don't realize it, you may begin to develop a craving for a behavior as soon as your brain starts associating that behavior with a reward. Examples of the habit loop in action. There are several examples to consider if you desire to see a bit more detail on how it all works. The bad habit. Shopping online. While you shop, the part of an hour slips by. Shopping itself is the routine, and the reward is the pleasure of glancing at household goods and new clothes plus the relief from boredom the digital excursions offer. You'll make a decision to discover what cues you're browsing, since you want to make an effort to change this habit. In the course of your finding, you may realize that right after you've perused your social media, or whenever you're all by yourself, you just stop shopping. Whenever you feel stuck, frustrated, or bored, you tend to have a higher chance of obliging to retail therapy. So, what can you do? You may begin to find a better way to distract yourself when you feel bored, because this is what breaking the habit demands. The bad habit, texting your ex. Your relationship with your ex-lover has ended a couple of months or years ago. You two agreed to move on because your futuristic goals were not aligned. But as things turn out to be, you got yourself in a situation because of the sexual chemistry between you two and the company you enjoy. This habit will definitely be holding you back if you'll be honest with yourself. Foremost, you'll be reluctant to pursue a relationship with anyone else. Secondly, you may get stuck and destabilized. Looking for the cues, 
you find out that what often makes you call your ex is when you feel down or lonely, or you feel horny after a stressful day, the emotional support a romantic partner provides, and the derived sexual satisfaction are the rewards you get from hooking up with your ex. So what's the way forward? Since you've yet to be romantically connected with someone new, what you must do is to look for another source of emotional support, such as close family members or friends, as this will help you break your habit of texting your ex. The bad habit, endless snacking. Unhealthy junk foods like candy, soda, and salty chips are what most people tend to snack on, especially children. Both adults and children snack, but it becomes worrisome when it's on foods with high calories replete with empty carbs. Snacking around the clock is a bad habit most people are guilty of, and to get rid of this habit, you should avoid stocking up on the snacks you can't resist. Rather, let almonds, yogurt, air pop popcorn, carrots and cucumber slices, hummus, and a host of other healthy snacks be what are within your reach. The bad habit, skipping breakfast. This is a bad habit that is common with most of us. Breakfast gives you that boost of energy you need for your task for the day. Do you even know that your metabolism can begin to slow when you skip an important meal like breakfast? You should always create a time to eat breakfast, even if there are several other tasks competing for your attention. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So what can you do? Try easy items like smoothies, homemade cereal bars, yogurt or whole fruit if you're rushed. Foods you can consume on the run, such as ready healthy breakfast foods, can be very helpful in breaking the habit of skipping breakfast. The bad habit, emotional eating. Emotional eating is one of the strategies employed by many to cope with stress. Using a coping mechanism of putting food in your mouth isn't a good diet strategy. You're quick to open the refrigerator to find something to eat as soon as you can get home just because you had a bad day at the office. Dear, we all have those crazy and bad moments, but we must learn to deal with them effectively so that the management techniques we enjoy do not turn out to become a bad habit that we'll be stuck with for a long time. So what can you do? Call a friend who will be empathetic, or just take a walk instead of eating when you get home after a stress day at work. Finding a new stress buster will help you get rid of this habit. Whatever helps to keep you out of the kitchen, engage in that activity. The bad habit, eating too quickly. Eating too quickly has been hardly related to being overweight. This is in accordance with a study by Japanese researchers, which included 3,200 men and women. There's a high chance that you'll end up eating way more than you need if you gulp down your meal in 10 minutes or less. Your brain needs time to catch up with your stomach. Whether you're snacking or eating a meal, and eating too quickly isn't a habit worth cultivating. So, what can you do? Ensure you chew each bite thoroughly, take smaller bites, and physically put your fork down between bites. These little tips will help you slow down your eating. In addition, you'll feel fuller as you go and get to slow down more when you drink water throughout your meal. The bad habit, not getting enough sleep. Good sleep is important for the body. Not getting adequate sleep can be damaging to the brain and may as well affect one's overall well-being. So what can you do? For at least an hour before bed, avoid TV or computers and keep the bedroom dark and comfortable. Establishing a sleep routine will also do some good. How to break the loop. Often more complex than just quitting the behavior. The process of breaking a habit isn't always easy. Nevertheless, change is a constant factor and it's possible. Here are simple, recommended ways to break the habit loop. Foremost, identify the routine. The habit you want to break is usually what routine refers to. So you should be able to figure out the routine. Maybe you have a penchant for running late for work because you always oversleep. Your routine may be deciding to catch a few more minutes of sleep after turning off the alarm. It's more like you telling yourself, Okay, it's time to leave this awesome bed, but I think I can manage to squeeze in a few minutes more. Try different rewards. Once you identify the routine, the next thing you have to do is try different rewards. You can experiment with rewards that offer likewise fulfillment by exploring what specific routine does for you. Keep track of how you feel as you try out each new reward. You can even get some more insights when you take a few days to vary your routine slightly. So, instead of reaching for the alarm once it rings to enjoy a few more minutes of sleep, brace up yourself to wake up to read for 10 minutes or decide to try an entertainment reward. Explore your triggers. A very vital step to break a habit is discovering the specific cues that are inciting your routine. Are you still conscious of the five cue categories that were mentioned earlier? Okay, in case you've forgotten, here they are once more. Last action. People around you. Emotional state. Time. Location. You can identify any patterns and recognize the cues more clearly when you get the likely triggers down on paper. Note the possible cues whenever you find yourself repeating your routine. 
Keep trying this for some days and see if you can pick something. Maybe at a certain time of the day or a specific friend group, whenever anything stands out, just check your notes to see. Now, once the cues are clear to you, devise a means to maneuver them. More tips to break habit. Focus on why you want to change. If your why is valuable or beneficial to you, you'll see that it would be easier for you to change your behavior. List the reasons why you want to change your habit and note the expected benefits from the change as you take a few minutes to consider your why. Enlist a friend's support. It can be tough to deal with cravings on your own. If your partner or friend has the intention to quit the same habit, doing it together will be very helpful. Along that line, encourage each other through setbacks and cheer each other's successes too. More so, you can also tell your close friend about the habits you're trying to break. Even if he or she doesn't have any habits to change, you can still enjoy support and encouragement from him or her. Practice mindfulness. You'll be more conscious of your actions, feelings, and thoughts with mindfulness. You can be more observant of the ways your habit affects your daily life when you practice mindfulness. You can now brace up yourself to not act on the urges or avoid reminder cues once you become more conscious of the routine behaviors and the triggers. Replace the habit with a different one. Rather than going all hard and trying to stop the unwanted behavior, replacing the unwanted behavior with a new behavior can make things easier for you. For example, let's say you love to snack. Rather than avoid snacking, which can be very difficult for you because of the nature of your job or whatever the reason may be, or snacking on unhealthy foods, you can choose to snack on healthy meals. You'll enjoy lots of benefits when you use more positive habits to replace harmful habits. Leave yourself reminders. You can rethink the action when you're being triggered by using visual reminders like sticky notes, stickers, and the likes. Prepare for slip-ups so that you won't feel guilty or discouraged about changing your habits. Try to mentally prepare for slip-ups. Understand that you won't lose those habits in a day because it took a while to build them up. More so, remember that change is hard and you started winning once you took the first actionable step to change. It could be quite challenging to break a habit and when you're yet to solidify your new habit, there are tendencies of you slipping back into old patterns. Brace up yourself to stay on track. Use an approach you feel is best for you. Be honest with yourself. Learn from your slip-ups. Start small. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. Take baby steps if that's what it takes, but make sure you stay consistent. Change your environment. Your habits can be massively impacted by your surroundings. Work on what surrounds you. For example, you can be encouraged to keep things clutter-free when you spend about 10 minutes tidying up your house each evening. You can avoid the tempting overpriced latte by not passing the cafe and changing up your morning walk to work. Instead of scrolling through social media, you can leave games, crafts, sketchbooks, other hobby items, a book or a journal on your coffee table. People who don't support your process of breaking a habit and those who contribute to your bad habit are people you should not spend time with. Know that your environment includes the people you surround yourself with. Practice self-care. Breaking a habit could be more distressing if you're dealing with health problems, relationship troubles, work stress, or other challenges. Thus, it's advisable that you begin from a place of wellness if you want to create positive changes in life easily. Prioritize your wellness when breaking a habit. With this, you'll be able to function well to conquer challenges, and you can as well get your chances of success boosted. Here are some self-care tips you can explore. Every day, try to engage in whatever improves your mood. Maybe relaxation, hobbies, or other things that can help. Aim to be physically active most days. For any long-term concerns, see your healthcare provider. Eat regular, nutritious meals. Make time for restful sleep. Motivate yourself with rewards for success. Celebrate your wins. You can increase your drive to keep trying and boost your confidence with rewards and motivations. Giving yourself rewards along the way isn't a bad idea at all. And ensure that you acknowledge how far you've come you'll become less prone to engage in negative self-talk or become discouraged when your focus is on your progress you've made so far. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.